these last couple months here, we're, we're on the road for, for quite a few games. And, you know, you just don't eat as well when you're when you're on the road. But, uh, you know, I think Wags does a great job in, in keeping these guys on the right track. And the way he, uh, he they do the nutrition and, and the supplements and all that good stuff that keeps these guys in shape. So he's on top of it. And uh, the guys are going to battle through here and grind it out and hopefully uh, make that playoff run. You have had an interesting couple of years at, with, with hockey ops, with player personnel. But with things a little bit more normal, you got a trade deadline coming up in the NHL the 21st. It affects the AHL team. So what is a trade deadline like on a normal year for you as you as you approach that date? Well, it's stressful, <laughs> but uh, no, it, it's uh, you know obviously uh, Washington wants uh, you know obviously their goal is to win a Stanley Cup. Our goal down here is to win the Calder Cup. But in the years that I've been in this position, you know Washington has did a great job for us down here and knowing that we need to win down here and they have that mindset of you know we we want our prospects to be in an environment of a, a winning environment and so they they they, they definitely uh, watch what uh, what they're doing but uh, you know it, it's it's stressful and hopefully uh, you know they do the right things and, and maybe it, it helps us out down here yeah and well look when they zig you're gonna have to zag right whatever move they make you guys are gonna have to react to that and you get a few days to do that I mean the AHL trade deadline maybe not quite as active as the NHL one but that's about a week later so talk about that particular date as you mentioned not quite as active but you can do something or shore up a hole if you need to yeah I mean uh, I'll make a lot of phone calls uh, to, to make sure you know is anyone available out there the those deals are usually deals that uh, guys are on American League deals or it's a, a loan a loan a player to us we'll loan a player to them so we've uh, I've been in this position now and I think we've had maybe one out of those years um, but you never know you know there's there's uh, you know good partners uh, throughout the league and you know if a team's not uh, not in the playoff race maybe uh, that, that you know that's obviously my first call is to those teams and to see if they're willing to move anybody. Um, so it's it again. It's 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 interesting for me, you know, being being on this side, and, you know, being through the trade uh, deadlines as a player, and then you get to see what's on the other side. So a lot of phone calls. It's a lot of interest. A lot of uh, you know, hoping, 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 and maybe some 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 one of these times will land a, a good prospect or a good player down the stretch that'll help us. You mentioned down the stretch, about six weeks left in the regular season. We'll see a couple more games here on Fox 43 as we get to it, and then hopefully to the playoffs after that. So we're glad to be back here, and it's been a bit of a bounce back week for the guys too after a rough February a couple of good wins here this week absolutely Todd you know it's 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 funny when you uh, we have certain players out that uh, you know guys are playing up up the lineup uh, where maybe they're not used to it you know we were having success there of, of those guys playing really really well and and, and you know getting goals and, and con contributing on the offensive side and then all of a sudden you know it, it catches up to you and, and uh, it's great to have Scarbosa back you know Nardell on the back end guys are starting to get healthy 